been a rough morning. I've had a migraine for like since last night. I was editing the video from yesterday, the one where I was golfing and unboxing my new Apple Watch. And I started getting a migraine and I thought, well, I'll just sleep it off. It's going to be fine. It's like one in the morning. So I slept and then I woke up at like nine o'clock and I still had the migraine and it was worse than ever. So I've had it all morning. It's now finally gone. So it's probably time to get out of bed. So let's do that. I shouldn't get a hat. Just be patient. Nah. Nice and informal today. All right, so Nick and I are gonna go down to the car dealership just to BS to everybody. Okay, let's get your shoe shot. Shoe shot. It's the shoe shots of the day. Ready? Let's do it. I put mirror tint on this door. This is actually a window. It's kind of nice because you can see through it, but I can't really see where the camera is. Just like in the stores and in the interrogation rooms. See, after my migraine's done, I know I'm in the clear for at least another day, so I really don't have to wear sunglasses. Normally, I like have sunglasses, and I actually even have tint on my car specifically to prevent migraines. Um, cops don't really like it that much, but it's okay. Uh, so, so now that I had a migraine this morning, I know I'm in the clear, so I can, I can just not wear sunglasses. It'd be good to go. You even signal to pull up. Sorry. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us. Blah blah blue. Blah blah blue blue blue. Sorry for the linguini. Remember these kids? Remember these? People that are my age and older probably do. We should start a Creed cover band. <laughs> Can I be the friend? We don't want to walk on. Well, See, I think you do it better than I do. This place, I'll show you everything. Without what to walk on. I get teary eyed when you sing that. Cop. Don't wave to the cop that hey, it, he's gonna wanna pull you oh, over now. No. He sees I'm driving a F-250, being a good boy, waving at him, because cop lights Yeah, because he's probably like, oh, that guy's waving at me. He must be up to no good. Yeah. He's just playing it cool. Is there anything in the truck, sir? You've been sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine? <laughs> Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got this, the, yeah. the windbreaker. <laughs> Feels like I'm running at an incredible rate of speed. We're here. You threw us under, under the, the bus? bus. Mm -hmm. You didn't say anything about going to the cities. But hey, I'll take you up on the offer. Shout out to the guy who gave us these dilly bars for free. You're a real hero. Nothing beats a dilly bar when it's like 80 plus degrees outside. Alexa, ask you connect to start my Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> what? I have a lot of personal opinions about these vehicles, but really to each of their own. These are the biggest wastes of money that you can get. Like I said, to each their own, but really $38,000 for a Jeep that the interior looks like this. I understand. I understand Jeep Wranglers are supposed to be like that. I get that. But man, why would you buy this stripped down thing for $38,000. Let's just get this. This is what I want. I even like the color, and I'm not a huge red person. But I tell you what, maybe this is unlocked. Do you think this is unlocked? Do you think when you buy it, it comes with the rag? But see, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta get the nice leather 
You got the big giant screen. This is a little more than $37,000, I'm sure. This is probably closer to fifty. But not only do you have a back seat, you also have a third row seat too. So we take it for a spin. Two USBs, an aux. Pretty sure neither of those Jeeps had even that feature. Got the giant screen. I think that's a, what is that, a 10 inch screen? I'm sure it has all the amenities, like the heated and cooled seats. That's all done through the screen, by the way, through Uconnect. Hide 50 grand and I needed to buy a car. This is for sure what I'd buy. Need to get in the back? No problem. Need to flip this down? No problem. Oh, wait, just kidding. There's somebody else that's going to join us. Join us on our trip. No problem. You see, I get that most of these features aren't new. Wait, there's a button. I get that. But, man, convenience at its finest, especially compared to that and that. Just saying. God, these new Rams are so ugly. What? These things? What? So ugly. I have a YouTube channel. I have like almost 90 subscribers. I'm gonna throw a party when I get 100. Okay, no, but I'll make a cool video. He's famous. He's famous. That's Bam Margera. He's famous. He, what will he do next? No, that's from the Terror Taxi skit on Jackass. Oh, yeah. It's my Margera dumb shit, he's famous. <laughs> Let alone did he not know that the guy that was assaulting him was Giant. Ram Ramathorn from Super Thorn, Troopers. Yeah. By the way, watched Super Troopers 2 last night and it's it's pretty funny. I was surprised. I went into it thinking it was gonna be kinda dumb. And I think if I would have went into it thinking it was gonna be really funny, I would have been a little let down. But I was surprised that I had some pretty good laughs. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, it's a nice F-150. It's probably out for sale. The ship. They got kind of variety of everything. Ooh, the Escalade ESV. Man, I like those. Not like I'm not a super huge supporter of paying an extra twenty grand because it's a Cadillac. But there you go, Alex. Who's the big GMC? Big. That's oh wait, oh, yeah, you don't like that one. Yeah, but in a GMC, it's okay. I know it's very similar. Look, I have the same mirrors. All terrain, even. All -terrain. It's got a topper. I like this. This is a Duramax. <gasps> Ooh. We should drive that Duramax. So Nick actually talked his way into driving this thing. <laughs> so we're in the high country Duramax. 2500, right? The heavy duty high country Duramax diesel and they let us drive it by ourselves. Like I didn't even come with, which is, I mean, fine. That's really, honest to God though, like I really, really respect car salesmen that don't say, oh, they're just two kids. Mm -hmm. Granted, yes, we're not gonna be buying this truck today. But guess what? In the future, when we're looking for vehicles, both him and I, I'm way more inclined to go to this dealership because this guy was super nice yeah. to us and super like, hey, you guys want to drive it? Be my guest. Like, you know, they, a lot of people, you get kind of, uh, kind of a, you know, people think, oh, they're young. They're, there's no way they can afford this truck. It's used as $40,000. Um, you know, so I, I, you got to respect people. So, I don't know, pretty nice. I'm super, I'm super liking this thing. Do you, how do you like driving the diesel? It's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. Like you can barely hear. You're know, like, if I turn this off, and roll down the window. Try it. Okay. Like, it's quick. Yeah. You can obviously feel it, but it's it's quiet. it's quiet. Yeah, and I like that honestly. So you get like obviously the full. I'm assuming you have like navigation in this. Yeah. Uh, but then you get climate control. You get all the. This lights up the bed. You get the parking sensors. Oh, you're almost in a gas. The cool thing about this is it's the same interface as the Silverado we have. So 
it's really easy to kind of remember where everything is. And man, the tow mirrors. I am such a huge fan of tow mirrors. Well, you all know that already because you know that I have tow mirrors on my 1500 Yukon, which it doesn't belong on, but I'm all of this like, is I like that. Brown brown yeah, it's like a burnt brown. Back in the Super Duty. We didn't buy the uh, Duramax. I wonder why. It's $40,000. We're heading home. Ending the day right with some Call of Duty World War II. 